Hey everybody, uh, so good to have you aboard. Uh, welcome back to the show. This is Kevin from JJ Hat Center, and this is Hats and Guitars. Today we're going to be exploring a brand new book that just came out in 2002. It's a book actually written by one of my viewers, Mr. Mark Elliott. And um, it's really informative for anybody who's a hat, enth uh, hat enthusiast, hat wearer, into hats. Uh, I learned a ton of stuff and I've been in the business 28 years in one shop, nine years before that in a different shop. Uh, and I learned tons of stuff. I probably knew 10% of this stuff or less. So it's really, really just filled with information. Um, things like how to buy hats, where to find this kind of hats, where the best hats are in the entire country, things like um, reenactment gear for, you know, Civil War uh, reenactment guys, you know, really rare type of hats like that. It shows you um, all the different hats in all the different cities across the country. So every time you make a trip, you can uh, look it up and be like, oh, wow, there's, uh, look at this. Uh, Oh, the, and you know, there's Brim Design in uh, Dallas, and then there's also Aspen Hatters in Austin, uh, also Atwood Hat Company in Austin. You know, there's all these places we can go to. So um, you might find out there's seven or eight hat shops in your city, and then another 12 or 20 of them uh, around the Texas area in, in different cities um, because of this book. Um, so uh, I have to say it's really fantastically written. There is not a lot of fluff in here. It's just all information. It's called The Brim and the Crown, a field guide to custom hatters and hat shops in the US and abroad by Mark Elliott. So today I'm gonna just go over some of these cool uh, facts. We're gonna do some of like, you know, the top 10 uh, oldest hat shops in the United States. So uh, let's talk about that. All right, the oldest hat shop in the United States opened in 1883. Uh, as you can see on the screen, it's Henry the Hatter. Uh, that's out of Detroit, Michigan. They were uh, 128 year old, and I think that's about as old as it gets as far as the United States. Uh, very old world kind of a hat shop, sort of like JJ Hat Center, um, but it's uh, right in the middle of Detroit. That's 1883. Henry the Hatter. After that, uh, another famous guy, Meyer the Hatter. If you ever visit New Orleans, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, is where Meyer the Hatter is. Uh, another old world, traditional kind of hat shop like JJ Hat Center. Um, I don't know a lot about these first two shops, except I, I know of them for many, many years. I've just never visited them myself personally. Um, this is the one from 1894 that's uh, pretty much just been in operation uh, ever since five generations of the family. Uh, so that's pretty, that's pretty cool right there. So um, they get good reviews. Um, we're going to go now to the third one is in Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay, now this is one I've never even heard of. Um, Batsaki's Hat Shop. All right, so this one is in Cincinnati and it's from 1907. The two oldest custom hat shops in the Midwest survived two world wars, depressions, several recessions, just like JJ's. Um, still going, age 89 the guy is, wow. Okay, very interesting. Here's another one in Texas. Now there's lots of good ones in Texas. Um, you know, they steam the uh, Western hats right in front of you and stuff. There are many hat shops. They're predominantly Western shops, but they're great. This one is another one from 1907, the Shud Brothers, Brookshire, Texas. Uh, John Wayne went there, Tom Mix, George Foreman, um, and tons of celebrities have gone to JJ's too. Uh, Foreman's been there. Um, a lot of big celebrities, but I think most of the big hat shops are like that. I mean, where else do they go? You know, where can they go? Okay, that brings us to 1908, Delmonico Hatters in New Haven, Connecticut. Uh, wow, New Haven had 27 hat shops at one point. That's pretty incredible. Delmonico's, another big shop. 
1908. In 1909, uh, Waco, Texas opened a place called Standard Hat Works. Standard Hat Works is another Texas place. Um, Waco, Texas. All right, sounds like they have mostly Western felts and straws, but they do have a few flat brim hats too. Getting to JJ Hat Center in New York City. Uh, we're one of the most famous ones uh, because you know we're right in the heart of New York City, and pretty much any time they do a Broadway show, a TV show, or film commercial, a photo shoot, Grammy Awards, Oscar Awards, uh, anything like that, Saturday Night Live, hot dog eating contest for Coney Island, all the hats for all of those East Coast uh, events, TV shows, movies, films, photo shoots, commercials, they're all from us. Um, we're pretty much, you know, the guy in the tri-state area and um, a lot of... Uh, industry is centered around New York. So there's always some kind of photo shoot. We need a hat for uh, this guy or, you know, uh, this celebrity or my, my uncle is, uh, you know, Al Roker and uh, he needs a, you know, there's always somebody, some Broadway show, um, Miss Maisel. I know we're doing all those hats. We did the hats for Blacklist. Um, we're here since 1911, right on Fifth Avenue, underneath the um, Empire State Building. We can make you a custom hat. We can alter our hats, cut the brims, put welted edges on, uh, excuse me, a uh, bound edge if you want a ribbon edge, special bands. We could make you a hat from scratch. Uh, we specialize in fedoras. Uh, flat caps, newsboys, straws, things like that. But we do have other things like buckets, western hats. Um, we used to have a big Stetson sign out front since 1911. Uh, then sometime uh, the uh, 2000s, it became a big Borsalino sign. And then it became a Stetson sign again. So we have a big neon Stetson sign right out in front. So people call us Stetsons, even though we're not really Stetsons. We're JJ Hat Center. A lot of people are uh, really curious about going to JJ's, uh, especially because of these videos. You know, we have a big online presence and thousands of YouTube videos. So. Yes, you guys can uh, visit us and uh, you could also bring your hats in. We do steaming, reshaping, uh, all our hat steaming is free, no matter where you bought the hat. So if you come in as a walk-in with, uh, you know, your grandpa's hat or your old beat up hat you bought on the street, it doesn't matter. As long as it's felt or straw, we'll steam it for free and uh, you could ask me to do it. Um, I'm happy to do it too if I'm there. I'm generally there Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, opening to closing. Okay, 1911, again, just like JJ Hat Center. There's a guy, again in Texas, Peter Brothers Hats. Um, okay, it looks like they're doing a lot of westerns. So, um, yeah, look at that. They began, began as a shoeshine parlor in 1911, still family owned and operated by a fifth generation. That's amazing. 1911 Fort Worth. Um, after that, you've got a hat shop again in Texas, Houston, Texas. As I said, Texas and that area has a lot of Western shops. So you could always get really good, authentic, uh, you know, Western hats that come open crown and they'll steam it for you the way you want and they'll do it instantly. Uh, those guys are really, you know, they know what they're doing. They grew up with it. Their dad's doing it. Their grandpa's doing it. And their mom's doing it. And grandma's. So it's generational. The people who steam those Western hats are probably far, far better than me with Westerns. Um, I'd say my uh, forte is really steaming fedoras, although I can do Westerns too. It's not my specialty. So uh, yeah, if you're in Texas, these are the guys to see. And here's another one, yeah. We've got Peter Brothers and we've got the Hat Store, 1915. That one is from Houston, Texas, 106 years old. Uh, tenth oldest in the country. I think JJ's is the seventh from 1915. They've catered to generations of ranchers, Bronx, uh, barrel racers, all kinds of bull riders, music, films. So again, um, 
they have a lot of westerns there. So that's the place. So that is the top 10 oldest hat shops in the United States. I hope this was a little bit of fun or a lot of fun for you. Um, and remember, uh, if you're interested in all of these kind of um, fun-filled facts and uh, you like to go uh, chasing different you know, models, like you, maybe you're after a Tom Mix and you, you don't know which shop in the city has it, uh, you find out nobody has it, so you have to start looking in other cities. Um, this book will help you find the hat you want, and um, I think it's just a really cool bit of history. Uh, I only really went over one tiny chapter. Um, it's fantastic. It just tells you everything. Uh, every single hat person you could think of from, like, Nick Fouquet to, uh, you know, JJ's to, oh, this is one I do not suggest, Lone Hawk hats, uh, boo, but uh, there's a whole bunch of them. I had a customer of mine who had a bad experience with them, so that's one I don't suggest, but there's everyone in here, Baron hats, look at that, Baron hats from Los Angeles, uh, Alexander Westwood, Delmonico's, Hats in the Belfry. I know all of these places, and um, they're all here in one spot. If you need to find caps and berets, there's a section for that. If you want to find the best Panama hats in the, uh, in the world, in the country, uh, in your area, there's a listing of the Sirius Monte Cristi Panama dealers. There is also a fantastic section for international hats. Uh, shops. So if you're in uh, Ireland or Germany or Greece or Holland, there's uh, shops listed here. Uh, there's one called Ad Vintage in Germany. I didn't know about it. Hatters Fellas in Hong Kong. Um, there's lists of hat shops in Canada, in Austria, in France, Finland. This is incredible. Um, they're all over the world. England, Fox Brothers, Gamble and Gunn, Herbert Johnson, Laird Hatters, Ecuador, Lockin, yeah, Thomas Farthing, Turnbull and Dunn. This is, um, there's just pages and pages of places for you to get a hat. So if you can't find your hat, this is the book to get. And um, I thank you very much, Mr. Elliot, for sending me a copy. There's also a copy at JJ Hat Centers when you walk in. There's a couple of easy chairs there, and there's a copy there you could check out if you want. Um, that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for participating in the comments and for supporting us. And I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, much love and have a great summer from Kev. Thank you.